Trevor, seems like just yesterday I was laying on the floor beside your crib trying to convince you to sleep in your own bed. Usually didn't work till you was at least four years old. Now you're starting college and preparing yourself for a career and a future. I just pray that you'll do one thing. Always remember what we've taught you about God and to always put God first in all things. We're so very proud of you and love you. Trevor, what a great joy it has been to raise you. You were four months old. I was 50 when God handed you to me and said, raise this one. Little did I know God was using you to get me back in church. You've been a good friend to me. We have had a good journey together. Keep Jesus first in your life and you will do well. Trevor, we're so excited about your next journey there at Southeastern. Jeffrey, we just wanted to say that we're so proud of you and don't ever forget how much you are loved. Keep smiling. Love mom and dad. Brandon, I can't believe it's that time. You graduating high school is such a great accomplishment, and I am so proud of you. I can still remember the day I had you like it was yesterday. My prayer to God was answered, but your NICU stay showed me just how quick life can change in an instant. But praying to God and your fighting spirit, you healed, and we finally got to bring our baby boy home. Watching you grow over the years into a young man has me both teary-eyed but thankful. Thankful you were born. Thankful God chose me to be your mama. So thankful you got to experience childhood. But most of all, I'm thankful that you asked Jesus Christ into your heart. Knowing you are now going to be on a whole new journey in life, I pray you continue to lean on him daily. I pray you keep God first always. Know your family and church family at Emmanuel are always here for you. God has a plan and a purpose for you, son. Follow him always. I love you, Bran. Love, Mama. Ethan, although you were born during a time of uncertainty in the world, you were certainly the most easygoing baby of mine. Thank goodness for that, because it seems like your early years were filled with changes like many moves with the military to different cities, homes, and schools. 
It was difficult sometimes, but it was also filled with things not everyone gets to experience. You were, and still are, a cautious person. Your teachers would sometimes say you were slow to warm up to new situations. That's okay. You're level-headed and reliable, and those are good qualities to have. You think through your choices and take your time to make decisions even when there's pressure. I've seen you stand your ground and choose to do what's right rather than what's easy. And though you may be slow to warm up, when you do, you're fun and funny and a great friend to have. Your close friends and family know your goofy humor and your real laugh and smile, which are contagious. You're always willing to help and you're caring and compassionate to those around you. Like your beginning, the end of your senior year has been uncertain too and anything but typical, but you've taken it in stride and you're moving forward despite the setbacks. You haven't complained, but rather in typical Ethan fashion, have remained steady and are making plans for the next chapter. Ethan, you're a wonderful son and your family cherishes you. You make my heart smile. I have enjoyed every minute of your childhood and I'm so proud of the man you're becoming. Your strength of character and godly spirit are a blessing to those around you. Always remember, I love you more. Mikey, we are so utterly and completely thankful God chose us to be your parents. When you were born, you changed everything for us. You filled all our hopes and dreams, and we didn't think of a single thing without first thinking about how it would affect you. Day after day, we prayed for you as we watched you grow up. So many times, we watched you sleeping and prayed over you night after night. We nurtured you, protected you, helped you put one foot in front of the other as you learned to walk. We celebrated your first tooth, first full night's sleep, and your first birthday. We watched you ride your first bike, do your first backflip, helped you scout for giant lightning bugs, and went worm hunting together. Dad helped us both through your first days of school and a few nights of tough homework, but we knew you'd make the grade. We watched you become a big brother and later stood on the porch as you took your first drive by yourself. God gave you the will, desire, determination, and persistence to persevere through all these milestones and so many more. Now here you are finishing this milestone and moving forward to the next. We are so unspeakably proud of the young man you have become inside and out and all the hard work you put in to get to this point. Don't forget that God has surrounded you with friends and family waiting to help you and remember any chance you get help others too. We want you to fully rely on God to guide you through all your days. We will always be praying day after day and night after night that God continues to protect you, guide you, keep your path straight, and he will keep you focused on doing his work throughout your life. God gave you a huge heart so you can continue to care for, protect, help, and love others as often as you can. He gave you a hilarious sense of humor to make others laugh and bring more joy to this world. He gave you the ability to envision, build, and make anything run. So use your God-given gifts and talents to help make this world a better place. Dream big and remember that for God, nothing shall be impossible. Life is made up of simply putting one foot in front of the other, so count each and every step as a blessing, for they will make up your journey. Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you. We can't wait to see how His plans for you unfold. Son, your dad, brother, and I love you profoundly, truly, honestly, deeply, and infinitely, forever and ever. We will always be here for you. And lastly, remember, there is no place like home, even if your brother wants to take over your room. Thank you.